Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Live, the regular Friday lunchtime concerts based at St Francis Church, Ashton Gate, Bristol. You'll notice today that for the first time in a while we're actually back in the church. The last concert here was on Friday the 13th of March and in the intervening weeks we've had a, a total of 16 concerts from performers' homes. Well, today there's no audience in the building, but we're looking forward to enjoying this fine piano and a bigger acoustic once again. Today's soloist is Richard Lee Harris, who's played for us a number of times, and today he's playing a program of Scarlatti, Haydn and Beethoven. Before we begin, could I ask you please to support the Lunchtime Live channel by pressing the button marked subscribe. And there's no cost involved in that, but it uh, will help to raise the profile of the online concerts. Then I need to say that uh, the Lunchtime Live series runs entirely on donations. And if you'd like to contribute, you can do this on the website, lunchtimelive.co.uk as the series has no independent funding. And finally, please don't be shy to leave a comment or a message during the performance. So now I will hand over to today's performer, Richard Lee Harris. Thanks very much, Robert. Hello, good afternoon to you all. Um, I hope you enjoy this program of four sonatas, two by Scarlatti, one by Haydn, and one by Beethoven to conclude. The first two sonatas by Scarlatti, both in the key of C, um, are in what we call binary form in two parts, either repeated or not repeated. Um, these two sonatas form part of a very large corpus of 555 keyboard sonatas uh, written by Scarlatti throughout his life. He was born, incidentally, the same year as J.S. Bach and Handel in 1685. In 1790, he moved to Lisbon, and in 1728, he moved to Madrid and at, to teach at the court of the Infanta Maria Barbara. There he remained for the rest of his working you will possibly notice the influence of flamenco guitar in both these sonatas, quite percussive added note chords that give a really rhythmic zing to the, to the music. So, two sonatas by Domenico Scarlatti. Thank you. 
That was the flamenco brilliance of Domenico Scarlatti, two of his sonatas in C major. Next on my program is a sonata by Haydn, sonata in G, written in 1776. There are three movements, an allegro con brio, meaning with vigor, a minuet and trio with the second trio section in the minor key, and a final presto rondo in the home key of G. And some of the brilliance of the keyboard figuration perhaps might have even been influenced by Scarlatti.
And that was the joyousness of Haydn. And now to a pupil of Haydn, Beethoven. And this is a sonata that is not so well known as well-known sonatas such as the Patentique Sonata, the Appassionata, etc. But it's a very beautiful piece, um, and it's the Sonata in A flat, Opus 26, written in 1800 to 1801. And what is unusual about this piece is that all four movements are in the same key. So that all four movements really are more like a set of character pieces. The Andante con variazioni, a series of variations on the theme for the first movement, a scherzo in trio in the second movement, a funeral march, which influenced Chopin for the third movement, listen out for the simulated drum rolls in the trio, and a final allegro, Beethoven's Sonata, Opus 26 in A flat.
Well, Richard, thank you so much for today's recital. I thought it was, your playing was so elegant and, uh, and full of character. I so enjoyed uh, particularly the Beethoven, which was uh, new on me, really, although maybe I've heard it at some point in the past. Was it quite a, an early uh, sonata? A uh, sort of uh, relatively early, yes, yes, and not overplayed. No, indeed. In comparison that's so to some of the other sonatas. I see, but so full of character. And Beethoven comes all the way through, I thought. Magnificent. Thank you, Thank you. very much for that. Um, so this is where I would normally invite our audience to come back next week, but we're taking a break for the month of August. So please keep an eye on the website uh, for news of next season's schedule. We're very much hoping that we shall be in the church again and maybe at some point that our local audience uh, will be able to return. As for today's performance, it's not too late to leave a comment if you've not already. In any case, uh, please subscribe to the channel and consider leaving a donation uh, on lunchtimelive.co.uk before you go. Many thanks. So, thank you once again to Richard, and thank you uh, for listening, and goodbye until the new season in September. Thank you very much. Goodbye.